There have been quite a few revisions needed to the model. I've not trusted the idea of using uh, the bearings on the, the motor to support the pull from the kites as it's coming up. Uh, so yeah, the wheel instead is going to connect through what would normally be the axle of a crank on a bike. So I'll get the crank bottom bracket here. That's the, um, the, the shell of the bracket there. And you'd have the all your bearings and your axle come through here. As the axle comes through, it's you know often very fat and it attaches onto the crank here. I'd get rid of most of the crank from the chain set and I'd have to thin down probably the um, axle as I'd mount a wheel on the end of it. Now hopefully I can uh, outsource getting this part made and that fitting on there. I, I'm going to run into problems here in that if this is rotating about this axle here, this axis, um, pinned by that bit, so that's going to mostly be in compression, actually. Um, yeah, I, I want to make sure this chain isn't, you know, the chain as it comes off of here isn't going to be smashing about here. Wondering whether to put this part down round, let's see if I put it down round the sides here, keep it low, you know, maybe make a bracket off of there and, ha you know, have it out to the side, what quite will the effects be? Um, or should I, you know, extend it, keep it up? Is there a way to run it underneath? You know, like, you know, but um, I'm pretty sure I, I want some some gearing on it because, you know, I, I, I could set the motor directly on the back, so I'm just using these bearings instead. You know, setting a motor on here, sorry, generator, would be... Yeah, you could know, you know can match it up. It'd be quite efficient to have. You'd get rid of any you know gearing sets. There's a bit of cost implied in this, and yet there are some sort of eighty RPM generators out there that look suitable for the job. Maybe for Ollie's one, I'll do that. And so you you know you get the stronger uh, the thrust loading capability, the, the actual thrust um, yeah lateral loads through there instead of the the cross axis loads. Um, yeah, the, these bigger bearings will be able to take it. I don't really think you know you, you're going to be able to quite easily pop the, the shaft out of a out of a generator if you're using it directly connected to that wheel. So yeah, I'm going to need to reshape some of this and jig things about a bit. I do have, however, uh, oh let me uh, set up the lock the horizon there. I've got some you know. A, a cutting list uh, oh I can't see the sheet there but yeah I'm trying to build up a cutting list because this is now all going to be I'm going to smooth this off it's going to be six mil and pretty much all these parts as well and any mounts that I've got involved and these pieces here um, these anchors have arrived now that's great um, uh, that that's all going to be six mil stainless and I'll be able to, oh, there we are, There's. Uh, I'll be cutting it out of a sheet. Uh, I'm going to get a better packing algorithm than this so I can fit it in, but it all fits fairly neatly together so far, depending quite what I'm going to take out of here. Let us know what you think. Tap.